Adam is made from the dust of the earth and God breathes the breath of life into him. It's interesting, he's not created in the Garden of Eden, he's created and then God causes the garden to grow. And when you look at the language in the original Hebrew, at least according to Gleason Archer, that language suggests normative growth, that God isn't doing anything miraculous, that this is what you would expect to experience. And then Adam is placed in the garden to work the garden, right? That means that the garden's been around for a while, that he's participating in the growth and the maintenance, the cultivation of the garden. Then God says, name the animals, right? And in the original Hebrew, that means he had dominion over the animals. But the name that he was giving them should reflect their character. That's how names work in Hebrew. So he had to study the animals to give them the appropriate name. So he was, in a sense, the first zoologist, and it was through that process that he realizes that none of these are suitable for me. And that's when he's put into a sleep and Eve is created from his side. And he says, now at long last. So when you look at all of what happens on day two, and that is summarized on the sixth day of creation where male and female are made in God's image, there's no way that all of that activity could fit into part of a 24-hour period of time. Really, to maintain biblical inerrancy, you have to see day as a period of time for that reason alone.